Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh, Professor of Biochemistry and in this video, I will be teaching you the methionine metabolism. Methionine is a sulfur containing essential glucosidic amino acids. Because methionine cannot be synthesized in the body, so that's why it is essential and based on its metabolic fate, it comes under glucogenic amino acid. Because when you remove the amino group from methionine, leftover carbon skeleton involved in glucogen, glucose formation, so that's why it is glucogenic. Okay, and moreover, it is a sulfur containing because the functional group present in methionine is sulfur group so but the thing is in methionine the sulfur is not a free sulfur but it is locked inside with the help of methyl group the degradation of uh, because being essential that means it cannot be synthesized so it will be synthesized outside so we are not worried about the synthesis only the catabolism part will be concentrating methionine can be converted to cysteine so that's why cysteine is a non-essential amino acid and the sparing action of cysteine on methionine is thus explained so when you see the diagram here See first methionine converted to SAM which is an active methyl donor in our body. So how it is forming? So adenosyl group will be added to methionine to form adenosyl S adenosyl methionine. So ATP removes uh, its three of phosphates and one adenine group will be added here. So that's why it is adenosyl methionine by the help of enzyme methionine adenosyl transferase. And the next step this methyl acceptor takes up the methyl group to form adenosyl homocysteine. Okay, S adenosyl methionine. When you remove the methyl group from it, when acceptor takes up the methyl group, okay, so the leftover the part is like homocysteine, right? So S adenosyl homocysteine that means SAM converted to SA. And in the third step, uh, the adenosine group will be removed to form homocysteine. This homocysteine involved in making of cysteine, this homocysteine again converted to methionine. So that means methionine can be regenerated once it is starts catabolizing, okay. The uh, one way of making thing is methionine apart from the cysteine okay but the thing is here step four if you concentrate homocysteine converted to methionine that means we need methyl donor here that means here methylcobalamin vitamin b12 the coenzyme of vitamin b12 is methylcobalamin methylcobalamin donating its methyl group to homocysteine and converting homocysteine to methionine okay if there is a vitamin b12 deficiency you cannot uh, make methionine okay so it is again disease condition that we will discuss in our six subsequent slides so here once homocysteine is formed with the help of the enzyme cystathionine beta synthase remember this enzyme is also very important cystathionine beta synthase when it reacts with serine combines to form cystathionine and cystathionine will be treated okay by adding water molecule with the help of cystathionase enzyme so it forms cysteine and then homocyrine. So, serine is also involved in making of cysteine. Okay. So, this cysteine will be synthesized. So, this way cysteine is producing from methionine. That's why cysteine is non essential, whereas methionine is essential. That's what if methionine you are not providing, you are missing two amino acids. So, that's the reason you have to include methionine in your diet. So, the main enzymes to be noted here homocysteine methyl transferase enzyme and then cystathionine beta synthase. From where from homocysteine, how cysteine is synthesizing. So now homocysteine, what it will do? It will be converted into alpha keto hydroxybutyrate and then it converted to propenyl CoA. And through propenyl CoA, it can be entering into uh, succinyl CoA and then to gluconeogenic pathway. You see here methionine converted into SAM, SAM to SAV. SAM means S adenosyl methionine. So when you donate its methyl group, SAM will be converted into SAV, S adenosyl homocysteine. Now again this adenosine group will be removed then leftover part will be A will be removed. So homocysteine is uh, remained and from homocysteine if you take out the serine you will get cystathionine and cystathionine again from if you make remove there will be two parts cysteine and homocysteine and homocysteine there is a removal of amino group and carbon dioxide to form propenyl CoA and propenyl CoA by carboxylation uh, process converted to methylmalyl CoA and methyl group will be removed with the help of vitamin B12 where B12 converted into methylcobalamin and this melanyl part will be converted into succinyl CoA and succinyl CoA enter into TCA cycle and it is uh, involved in one of the intermediate like succinyl CoA, succinyl CoA to malate, malate to oxalate, oxalate it will come out of the mitochondria and involved in gluconeogenesis. So here energetics if you see methionine into SAM, ATP is involved and there is direct involvement of uh, adenine group, adenosine group not phosphates and the acceptor which accepting the methyl group to form methylated acceptor and there is a removal of adenosine group and there is a involvement of vitamin B12 in regeneration of methionine from homocysteine otherwise homocysteine converted to cystathione by cystathione synthase and again cystathione is uh, splitted into homocysteine and then 
cysteine. So here you see the importance of two water soluble vitamins tetrahydrofolic acid and then vitamin B12. If coenzyme like any one water soluble vitamin like B9 and B12 deficient there is no conversion of homocysteine to methionine so it leads a condition folate trap it's a disorders condition. In our body the donors of methyl group is SAM okay wherever there is a methyl group requirement in chemical reactions there SAM will come yes I am having methyl group take it. So that's why SAM is an active methyl donor okay so what are all the transmethyl reaction where in all it will come you see here methyl acceptor is guanidoacetic acid in making of creatinine SAM is required nicotinamide 2 and methyl nicotinamide there is also SAM required conversion of norepinephrine into epinephrine this we will discuss aromatic acid metabolism there also the requirement of SAM epinephrine to metanephrine norepinephrine to normetanephrine ethanolamine to choline making also we require SAM Carnose into answering polyamines they are in arginine metabolism we will discuss acetyl serotonin to melatonin in making of melatonin in tryptophan metabolism and serine to choline also we require SAM so these are all the reactions where we require SAM and also histidine you take methyl histidine lysine to methyl lysine tRNA to methylated tRNA there also we require SAM so here what is happening cystathionine synthase it is highly B6 dependent enzyme or that means PLP dependent so here when serine added to homocysteine it forms cystathionine okay if there is a blockage in this reaction if there is any defect like enzyme cystathione synthase so there is accumulation of homocysteine which starts accumulating in the blood as well as in urine leads a condition homocysteinuria so this is a defect of methionine metabolism so that's all about methionine metabolism thanks for watching thank you